Hey, what's up guys? It's John here, also known as Unity 3D Coder as of now, and this is going to be the advanced um, tutorial series for C Sharp and Unity. And what we're going to be covering are a wide range of topics. Today we're going to be covering the list. I'll see you in a moment. So, welcome back, and what's a list? A list is a dynamic array, and we know what an array is from the, inter from the intermediate series. An array is basically a variable that contains multiple amounts of information of the same data type. Now, with an array, it's not dynamic, which means you set the size in the inspector or through code, and then you can't add or delete memory. That memory is there and you can swap out information but you can never have more than the amount of items in that array and you can never have technically less than the amount of those. All right, That memory is taken up. Now with a list what you can do is you can actually at runtime which means while the game is running you can you can add memory or you can delete memory. So for instance maybe right when the game starts your or your list might have five items in it. Well Maybe five minutes later, it has ten items, or maybe it has three items. You can you can add and remove memory as you like. Uh, it's also more efficient to use. In a lot of cases, you're going to want to use a list over an array. For instance, in an RPG game, if you're creating an item database, you don't know how many items you're going to have, plus you're going to be adding items continuously throughout your game. So it makes sense that, an, that a list is used for an items database, because now you have five items, but a month from now you're going to have 20 items. So instead of having to create an, an, a, a static array of those items in memory, just leave it dynamic. Also, with um, trying to think of another good example here, <laughs> in most cases, a dynamic list, it's better to use a list over an array. The things you'd use an array for are set sizes. For instance, an inventory or bank slots would be an array. Um, in your inventory, if you, know, if you ever played RuneScape, you have 28 items in your inventory. Well, that's not going to be a list because you're not ever going to change the size of that inventory. That inventory is a static thing. It's how many spaces you can hold. Um, so it makes sense to be an array, whereas maybe a customer data list, right? Maybe a player list of players in the game. That's not going to be an array because then you're limiting you're limiting how many players there are. Make it a list of players so that you can continuously add and remove players from that list. Make sense? So what is a list? How do we declare it? What? How do we use it? Very very simple. Let's go in here, create a new C sharp script for a list, and whoops, we're going to name this. Uh, list example. Now when it comes to declaring a list there's one thing we need before we can do anything and that thing is a namespace. We need access to the list library. Now what happens if we didn't what if we just declare a list without getting access to the library? What happens? Well check this out. Here's how you declare a list. You have to say public or private, store like a normal variable, public or private reference, and then use the keyword list. Now you'll notice here I have nothing of type list. I have list example, not what I want, and then I have I list, which is an interface topic for another day. That's not what I want. I want a list, which is like an array. In order to get that library, we need to include a new namespace called using system.collections.generic. This is the list library, and what it's going to allow me to do now is type public list, and you'll see here public class list, and then T brackets type. So you do public list T brackets, which are these triangles, and then type. What type of list do I want to create? Let's create a list of ages. So those are ints, right? So list int, and then every variable has a name. And then you do this. You have to initialize a list, you say equals a new list. And then you'll see here in the syntax, it fills it in for you. You say new list, and then type T. So list int, and then initialize it with the parentheses. So now we just declared a new list. And check this out. Um, when you add this to the main camera, you'll notice that we have in a list of ages, and I can specify the size, and there you go. It's just, it looks exactly and functions like an array. I can access the elements just like I would in an array. Now, the difference between this, though, is that look what I can do. Let's say I wanted to add, uh, let's say I wanted to change the size of this list at runtime. In order to do that, you need to know how to add items. So let's go and void update here. 
And let's say every time you hit the space key, you add a, you add a random age. So if input dot get key down, and then key code dot space. So if you hit the space key, we're going to add an item to the list. The way you do that is you call the list, and then you use the keyword add. And there's a few things you can do here with the list. So for instance, when you're at, if you're creating an, a, uh, an inventory system, you need to add items to your inventory, or you need to clear your inventory, which clears the items. You can also remove, there's also a remove keyword. All right, and that removes an item. Um, one other thing that's really useful is the count, and that gives you a number that re it returns a number of how many elements are in the list. It's very similar to ages, or I'm sorry, not ages, array.length, but instead for a list, you use count. And it will tell you how many items are in your uh, list. So right now, I specified in the inspector five, but I don't like doing anything in the inspector. So right now, technically, my list is the size is zero, right? So let's go ahead and add an item to the list every time I hit space. I'm going to say here, ages.counts, not, I'm going to say ages.add, and then it's asking for an integer item. So I'm going to go ahead and say random.range, and I'm just going to say anything between 1 and 100 I want to add. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and watch what happens. So right now, let's go ahead and just set the size of the, the list to zero. Now, if this was an array, this wouldn't work. You'd get an error because we didn't declare a size, and you can only have one element if it's zero. So if we reset that, size is zero. And watch what happens when I run this and I hit space. Every time I hit space, the size is one, element zero is 89. I hit space again, size is two, element one is 31, and so forth. I'm dynamically creating memory. Now, what's also really cool about this is let's say every time I hit Q, I want to remove an item. So let's go ahead and do that. So if input.getKey down, keycode.q, so let's go ahead and remove an item. So we need to call the list and then we use the remove keyword. I can remove all the items. I can remove at, which is an index position. So if I only wanted to remove the last one and I knew the size of it, I could just say, uh, remove at, and then for instance, say we had five elements, I would just say five, and that would remove the fifth index. Um, or maybe it would have to be fourth, you'd have to mess around with it, because remember, numbers start at zero. You can remove a range, so you can say like, for instance, you can remove, uh, you can start at like the fifth number, and then you specify how many after the fifth number do you want to remove. But for now, we're just going to use remove. So ages.remove, and then it says int item. All right, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and say here, ages and we're going to pick a random element in our in our ages list to remove we're going to say random dot range and we're going to pick between element zero and the last element which is going to be ages dot count which is going to return how many elements are in this race so it's going to pick a number between zero and the last item and it's going to remove that element so let's go ahead and test this out all right, size is zero. I'm going to hit space three times. We have three elements there. I'm going to hit Q once, and you'll see now we only have element zero and one. If I hit Q again, randomly gets rid of one. If I hit Q again, it's gone. Now what happens if I hit Q again? We're going to get an argument out of range exception. This error means that I'm trying to access an element in the list that doesn't exist. Okay, so you always want to make sure that the elements in the array are there. Um, trying to think here. What if I wanted, uh, what type of list can we create? This is an integer list of ages, right? Well, a list can be any type. What if I wanted a game object list for like an object pooling system, uh, which I'll probably cover very soon. Uh, we have here, we can say list, and then what's game objects, right? Unity uses game objects. So name it objects. And then you would just say new list, game object. There you go, you just created a list of game objects. And you'll see here in the ins inspector, that you can actually create a list of game objects and assign game objects to it. So I can put the directional light in there. There we go, we added the directional light to our list of objects. Uh, let's go ahead and create a string list. So public list, string, and then my strings equals new list. All right, and string. So it's pretty simple and pretty awesome to use lists. Uh, so let's recap, what do we got here? In order to use a list, you have to declare it with the keyword list with the T brackets in the data type that you want to declare, and then every variable has a name, and then you have to declare it with a new list in the type of list. 
Also, what's really important is this right here, using system.collections.generic. That gives you access to the list library. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you're following on digitalgaminginstitute.com and my Facebook and Twitter pages. And if you haven't, like this video, get it popular, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.